Today we learn about impedances. Impedances can be resistors, inductors, or capacitors. Wired in series or parallel, but at the end of the day all impedances be pirates. And pirates impede the passes of ships and the currents of the circuit. Ships being the electrons you see and the currents being the flow of the sea bringing the ship to the pirate. The bigger the pirate, the more the impedance. Now that we know what impedance is, we'll need to be talking about it. And to talk about it, like all good pirates, we'll use a chart. Now, our chart at first will be labeled the way a land lover labels a chart, using a rectangular coordinate system. Rectangular? Why is it called that? Because it's covered in rectangles. That's why, you scallywags. Along the horizontal axis of this chart, we'll be measuring resistive impedance. Resistive because it's caused by resistors. Along the vertical axis of the chart, we'll be measuring reactive impedance. A positive reactive impedance is caused by inductors rising up the vertical axis like a mainsail rising up the mast. A negative impedance is caused by capacitors sinking down, down into Davy Jones' locker. Now, let's start. What? What's that noise? <laughs> That's that baby we kidnapped in the last raid. <laughs> Shiver me timbers kidnapping babies. Well, that madness never end. Anyway, we've got to get our licenses. So let's measure an impedance. First, we'll make a slash at 400 ohms resistive impedance. Then a slash at 200 ohms reactive impedance. Then... Where the two slashes meet, we'll make the X, marking the total impedance, and we'll label our 400 plus J, 200. 400 ohms of resistive impedance, and 200 ohms of reactive impedance. Um, let's hit the exam questions having to do with what I've been talking about. First one, what coordinate system is often used to display the resistive, inductive, and or capacitive reactive components of a pirate-like impedance? That would be the one that the land lovers like. The rectangular coordinate system covered in them annoying little rectangles. Second question, what do the two numbers represent that are used to define a point on a graph or a chart using rectangular coordinates? That would be the coordinate values along the horizontal and the vertical axes. Third question. When using rectangular coordinates to graph the impedance of a circuit, what does the horizontal axis represent? The impedances along the horizontal axis are resistive. See, so I want to look for the resistive component, the voltage or current associated with the resistive component. Next question. When using rectangular coordinates to graph the impedance of a circuit, what does a vertical axis represent? The impedances along the vertical axis be reactive. So you wants to be looking for the reactive component, the voltage or current associated with the reactive component. 